Welcome to the magical land of Tibet. Today in the midst of beautiful grassy plains and mountain ranges is going to be a yoga practice set with the intention to release stress, anxiety, and tension out of your physical body and the mental state of your mind. This is a practice geared towards all levels with the goal to move gently through postures that will allow you to find a deeper connection with your inner state of being. If you've had a busy, stressful day or in need of grounding and centering before you begin your day, then this yoga practice is exactly for you. So if you're ready to get started, grab your mat and let's begin. Join the thousands of people that have downloaded or streamed our full-length programs. Our yoga, fitness, and meditation programs are specifically designed to give you incredible results. Visit bohobeautiful.life to take your practice to the next level today. All right, friends, we're going to get started today seated at the top of your mat. Go ahead and find a comfortable position with your feet grounded. And then at this time, place your hands underneath your knees. Sit up nice and tall. Let's take a deep breath in and first begin to roll our head to one side. Big circle with the head and the upper body. Good. And then same thing, just reverse the circle to the other side. Great job. Just finding the center right now, finding your breath one more time, reverse the circle. With each exhalation, allowing yourself to come into this present moment right now. Letting go of any other worries or anything that may be on your mind right now and simply allowing yourself to be present. Let's open the chest, inhale, look up to the sky. Then as you exhale, you're going to bring the chin down to the chest, round through the upper back, and then reach your arms forward. From here, see if you can lift both knees and feet off the ground, holding that boat posture. If you need to keep your hands on the mat to modify this, you're more than welcome to do so. Allowing yourself to find that breath, begin to engage through the abdominal muscles. Really finding that center and connecting through the center of your body your core. Good. Keep holding this posture. Keeping the shoulders away from the ears. And then release your body all the way down as you bring your knees into the chest. Hug your knees into the chest. You can keep your head up or down on the mat. And begin to gently rock side to side. Massaging the lumbar spine but also stimulating the parasympathetic nervous system. Let's go ahead now and extend both legs up. Open the legs and grab your ankles or the outsides of your feet. Happy baby pose, bringing both knees as low to the ground as possible. Keeping your eyes closed here and just staying and breathing. This is a wonderful hip opening posture. You spent a lot of time in a seated position today. This is such a good pose for you to open up your body, release those hips. You can either stay here, add a little bit of a rock side to side. Just do whatever feels good for your body here. Be in tune with your body, listen to your body. With each exhalation, allow yourself to surrender deeper into the posture. Beautiful, now let's slowly release, reach both legs back up to the sky. And then from here, bend your knees and just simply rock yourself up to seated position again. Crossing your ankles in front of you, hands onto the mat. Step yourself back into plank position. Deep breath in. On your exhale, lower your body all the way down to your mat. We're going to do a couple of cobra postures here. So all we're going to do is just keep your hands on the mat. Simply lift your upper body, arching the spine, opening the heart. And then exhale, release yourself back down. A few more times like that, just gentle movement up. And exhale, release welcoming blood flow into that upper spine inhale look up lift yourself up as high as you can without lifting the hips off the ground and then come on down great job one more time let's lift up 
Bring your hands a little closer to the side of your body and then press a little bit more into the hands, allowing yourself now to come up all the way into upward facing dog. Once you're up, see if you can extend through the knees and lift your thighs off the ground. Tuck the toes and then press yourself up into your downward facing dog. Now let's just stay here and enjoy this posture. Feel free to add movement. If you're feeling any stiffness or restriction in the back of your legs, walk out the dog, bending one knee at a time and just allowing yourself to let go. Breathe it out. Whatever is troubling you, whatever is on your mind, breathe it out. Right now, it's only you on this mat with your breath, with your body. Beautiful. Now, whenever you're ready, go ahead and walk yourself forward to the front of your mat, feet together. Inhale, let's come on up halfway, lengthening through the body. And then exhale, release yourself into a standing forward fold. See if you can grab your ankles, folding from the hips, allow your head to drop all the way down. A very gentle inversion here, welcoming blood flow into the brain. Good, just breathe. See if you can get that forehead a little bit closer and then slowly come on up to standing. Let's inhale, big reach with the arms. Exhale, palms together. Dive yourself back down to the earth. And then from here, slowly bend your knees and come on down into a seated position. We're gonna go a little bit deeper now into the side body as well as our hamstrings. Go ahead and flex your feet. Inhale, reach up to the sky. And then exhale, coming into a seated head to toe forward fold. So grabbing onto the ankles or even underneath the knees if that's a little too much for you today. And simply allow your forehead to release to the knees. Reconnecting with your breath again. Taking a deep inhalation into the nose and as you exhale, let all that air out as you let yourself go a little bit deeper. Realize that you are in control of your breath. You are in control of your body and mind and how you decide to react to all that life brings your way. Let's take another deep breath in. Now very slow exhalation, begin to lift yourself back up to seated. This time placing your hands behind your back, squeeze the glutes and lift the pelvis and the chest up to the sky into a reversed upper plank. Throwing your head back if that doesn't bother your neck. And lift as high as you can, really opening through the frontal area of your body. Letting go of any restriction here, any resistance. Allow your heart to open up to the sky. Welcoming all the positive energy, all the loving energy inward and towards yourself and your being. Now bring your left knee into the chest and then slowly drop your body down placing the left foot to the inside of your right thigh. Flex your right foot. At this time, let's reach both arms up to the sky and open up your shoulders so they're aligned with your hips. Right elbow comes to the inside of your right leg and your left arm reaches over towards those toes. Your hips are open, your shoulders are open. You are stacking your left shoulder over top of your right looking up to the sky to allow yourself to really open up, breathing deeply into the side body here. Again, another area where we feel a lot of restraint, a lot of constriction. Whether you're doing this practice in the morning or in the evening, let your breath be the guiding force of letting go of all that no longer serves you, welcoming oxygen to rejuvenate the cells, to regenerate your energy within. Keep reaching. Just see how far you can go. You can keep your eyes closed here. In static postures like this, it's really important for us to really find that connection within. Beautiful, now let's slowly come on up. Now at this time, bring your knee right back up to the chest, square off the hips and the shoulders, and then you're gonna take that leg, and you're gonna bring it over top of your straight leg. You're going to center both of your knees on top of each other. Then place the hands underneath your knee, inhale, lengthen through the spine, and then as you exhale, taking your single shoelace posture, allowing your forehead or your nose to release towards that bent knee. And staying here, now keeping that front foot flexed so you are getting that deeper stretch through the calf muscle. 
It's very normal to feel the stretch not only in the leg, but also coming all the way up through that lower back. So if that's the case for you, know it's totally normal. And then just begin to relax and go deeper into that area of your body. Your breath is your friend. It truly allows you to reconnect with the present moment, keeping your mind centered and present. And it also brings more oxygen into the muscles to increase your flexibility. Let's go ahead and lift yourself back up. Now this time, if you're able to, go ahead and bend that bottom knee. So now we're doing full shoelace. Stacking both knees on top of each other, square off the hips, inhale. And then as you exhale, begin to walk yourself forward and release. Now for some of you, this posture may not be attainable today and that's totally fine. It is quite a more difficult position than the other one. So if that's you, feel free to just come back to the same pose we just finished, the single-legged shoelace position. You're still getting incredible benefits and going deep into the hamstring, but perhaps you need to just work your way a little bit more before you come into the second version. So wherever you are, version one or version two, just breathe. Let yourself let go deeper and deeper with each exhalation. Allow yourself to be gentle and loving with your body, listening to your body and being patient with your body. Great, now let's slowly begin to lift back up, reach both arms up to the sky, and then place your hands behind your back as you release both legs in front of you. Extending both legs out, take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, repeating that reversed upper plank again. Lifting up as high as you can with your hips, opening that heart center up to the sky. If it feels okay for your neck, go ahead and throw it all the way back, looking towards the back of your mat. Lift even higher if you can, go a little bit more, squeeze those glutes, and then bring that right knee to the chest. And then slowly make your way down with your knee to the chest, placing the foot to the inside of your left thigh. Knee opens out to the side, flex your left foot, now opening your shoulders so they're aligned with the hips and then begin to release to the side. So your left elbow to the inside of your left leg as your right arm reaches over towards those left toes. Your hips are open, your shoulders are open. You're looking up towards the sky to allow yourself to square off those shoulders. Now breathing deeply into the right side body here. Feel free to close your eyes and really go into a meditative state. Focusing on each inhalation and exhalation. Allowing yourself to find the presence within. Being aware of your mind and your thoughts. Whenever you begin to feel them escape away from you, reconnect with your breath. Allowing yourself to reconnect with this present moment. Beautiful job. Let's slowly release. Come back to center now. Bring the knee back up to the chest. And then you're going to take that leg, bring it over top of your left leg, stacking the knees on top of each other. Hands underneath the bottom knee. Flex your front foot. Inhale, extending through the back. And then as you exhale, releasing forward into your single-legged shoelace position. Your forehead or your nose is reaching towards that top knee. You're allowing yourself to surrender and let go into this posture. Just staying gentle and patient with your breath. Bringing those toes towards your head so you're flexing your foot and allowing a deeper stretch through that calf muscle. Again, this is a wonderful posture for anyone that spends a lot of time in a seated position, whether that is driving in a car or sitting at a desk. We're allowing our lower body to release here. Letting go of any tension, stiffness, and resistance out of your hamstring. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, let's slowly release. Bring your arms back up. And again, here we're going to transition into our full shoelace, meaning you're going to bend that bottom knee, bringing the heel close to the outer hip. And then as your knees are stacked, you're reaching both arms up to the sky. And as you exhale, leaning forward into your full shoelace. And once again, if this posture is a little bit too difficult for you today, feel free to return back to the previous asana, the single-legged shoelace posture. Wherever you are here, close your eyes and go deep within. Give your body this permission to simply be 
with yourself, not worrying or thinking about anything else right now, except this present moment on the mat, practicing self-care and self-love, appreciation for this beautiful body that you have, for this time in your life that you're able to give to yourself. Enjoy it. Take one more deep breath in. Exhale, lift yourself back up. And then releasing both legs out. We're going to come back into boat posture. Now just bring both knees to the chest. Extend both arms forward. Hold it here. I'm pulling the navel into the spine. Hands back down, extending through the legs, lifting yourself back up into a reversed upper plank squeezing the glutes and opening that heart center up to the sky. Just stay here, opening through the frontal area of your body, breathing deeply into the lungs, and exhale, release. Go ahead and bend your knees, cross your ankles in front, step back into plank position, lower yourself down through chaturanga, and this time let's just open into that upward facing dog, opening through the chest, drop the shoulders down, Tuck your toes and release back into your downward facing dog. Take a moment here, really bring those shoulders down away from the ears, sternum down towards the floor. Great, now bend the knees and then go ahead and bring both of your legs in front of you and sit back into that lotus posture, just with the feet crossed in front of you. Nice, easy pose here. Sit up nice and tall, recenter yourself and release your hands right onto the knees. Let's go ahead and close our eyes here just take a moment to find that center breathing deeply as you let go and rounding through the upper back bring that chin down to the chest and as you inhale you're opening through the frontal area of your body welcoming all the positive energy and then exhale rounding up through the spine letting go of any negativity within you and again inhale look up exhale let go of all that no longer serves you and again, inhale, fill your lungs with oxygen as you look up to the sky, welcoming love and peace into your body, and then let it go. Great, let's come back to center now, planting one palm on top of the other. Go ahead and inhale, bring your hands up to your heart. Fill your heart with all the positive energy. And then as you exhale, allowing that positive energy to release downward into the base of your spine. Finding that center, finding that heat within the inner body. Keeping your eyes closed, let's just breathe. Realize that you are powerful, you are strong and in control of that inner peace within you. Nobody can take it away from you. No external circumstance can affect the peace and love that is within your heart. Beautiful. Now let's take another deep breath in, reaching both arms up to the sky, lengthening through the spine now, palms together. And then exhale, bring your hands down to your heart, keeping your eyes closed here. Take this moment to bow down to your heart, thanking yourself for this beautiful practice today, for allowing yourself to reconnect with your body and your mind. Thank you so much for joining us in beautiful Tibet. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I send you love and light. Namaste. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more practices like this. Thank you for joining me and we'll see you soon.